Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, for allowing me to make my maiden speech during this debate. I would like to thank the Honourable Member for Ellesmere Port and Neston uh, for his contribution to the um, economy and jobs debate uh, this evening, and as well as all my other colleagues for their fantastic contributions of their maiden speeches. Mr Deputy Speaker, I was hugely honoured to have been elected as the Member of Parliament for Loughborough constituency. I am acutely aware that I have some very big shoes to fill. <laughs> I worked alongside my predecessor, the Baroness Morgan, for nine years as her senior caseworker, and during that time I saw firsthand her dedication to supporting her constituents. Yeah. She was also somewhat of a trailblazer, being the first female to represent Loughborough and the first female to chair the Treasury Select Committee. She was also the first MP to lead a general debate on mental health in the House of Commons. Her talents not only as an MP but also as a minister were recognised early on, as she quickly rose up the ranks, being appointed Education Secretary within four years of becoming an MP, and then Digital Culture, Media and Sports Secretary last year. Her talents were recognised still further last week when she was introduced in the other place. Now you understand what I mean about big shoes. <laughs> The Loughborough constituency is a great mixture of rural and urban, with the largest town, Loughborough, at its heart. The town has a rich history with its almost 800-year-old market and annual Loughborough Fair. The town is also home to the John Taylor Bell Foundry, which is the largest in the world and is responsible for making the country's biggest bells. Most importantly for our local area, the Bell Foundry crafted 47 bells for the Carillon Tower, which is a memorial to the local residents who selflessly gave their lives while serving in both world wars. The largest employer in Loughborough is its university, <coughs> which attracts some of the best students from around the world. Loughborough University's name is synonymous with sporting excellence, and it has trained many elite athletes. Indeed, if the university were a country, it would have finished 10th and 17th in the 2016 Paralympic and Olympic Games, respectively. <laughs> it was also recently crowned British Universities and Colleges Sport Champions for the 40th consecutive year. Athletes can benefit from the university's Altitude Hotel, which simulates sleeping conditions at any altitude up to Everest even though Loughborough is only 154 feet above sea level. <laughs> the university is also home to one of the UK's largest science and enterprise parks, which provides a research and development base for high-tech businesses of all sizes. This park is linked with the nearby Charmwood campus, which is the UK's first ever life science opportunity zone. Both these facilities help the town retain local talent, which is something I'm keen to facilitate further as it is the key to driving inward investment to the constituency. To the west of the town is the close-knit close community of Shepshed, which originally grew as a centre for the wool trade. Today it holds an annual Scare Sheep Festival, during which businesses, schools and organisations create their own sheep-themed scarecrows to raise money for local good causes. <laughs> to the east of the town are the picturesque Wolds villages, at the centre of which are a number of welcoming pubs, which are vitally important to their communities. I am, therefore, determined to support them and will be closely followed following the Government's business rate reforms which I know is an area of concern for small retailers and publicans. I will also work to roll out gigabit broadband, which will be a great asset to our local businesses mm -hmm. and to those who work from home. Yeah. To the southeast are Quorn and Mount Sorrel Castle, which have ha I have had the privilege to represent as a Charmwood <coughs> Borough Councillor, and still do, and I refer you to my register of interests. Mount Sorrel Castle is known for having the largest granite quarry in Europe, providing building materials to major projects across the country. Corn is home to one of two Great Central Railway stations in my constituency. This railway is the UK's only double-track mainline heritage railway. Nearby is Barrow-upon-Saw, which is famous for its marine dinosaur skeleton, a plesiosaur, which is known locally as the Barrow Kipper. There are also a number of beautiful countryside walks in the area, including the Fossil Sculpture Trail. In a constituency that is famed for sport, the people of Sileby outdo themselves with teams for cricket, football, rugby, bowls and even long lane skittles, which, you have, which if you have not seen, 
is both daring and adventurous, rather like the locals. <laughs> both Barrow and Sileby are large villages, but they turn into two islands when it floods. I am committed to addressing flood mitigation and regular maintenance of the waterways in the area, particularly around Slash Lane. To the north is the village of Hathen, which was home to Robert Bakewell, who revolutionised the way in which livestock is bred, reflecting the area's important farming history. All that being said, it is the generous nature of local residents that led me to make my family home in Loughborough there in 1995, to raise my two children there and to become involved in the local community. Everybody there does. It's clear from street names that throughout the centuries there have been a great many people who have contributed to the area, either financially or in their actions, to help improve the lives of local residents. And this still runs like a golden thread throughout communities today. There are a great many street names, such as Griggs Road, Foden Close, Alan Moss Road, Herrick Road and Burton Street from longer ago. But more recently, three people I, I did know, Terry Yardley, Terry Yardley Way, was a Labour councillor and a lovely man. And then two of my absolute favourites, who both sadly passed away, Peter McCaig and the lovely Roy Brown of Sileby all of which I saw, I, I knew and saw how much they did for their communities. Mr Deputy Speaker, I am tremendously proud to be representing Loughborough constituency. My social media tag is Team Loughborough, and I feel, feel very much part of a team. <coughs> Other members of our team work tirelessly to ensure that our young people have the skills they need to succeed and get on in life, and that our local businesses can thrive and continue to compete <coughs> on an international scale that those who are unwell or in need of assistance receive care and support, and that people of all nationalities and religious beliefs feel at home in our area. Everybody has a part to play in Team Loughborough, and I look forward to playing my part. Yeah. Yeah.